Controversial speakers being disinvited from colleges and universities. Governments trying to limit what's said in the classroom and public square. Today, free speech is under attack across the globe. But these problems have a deep history, especially on college campuses, where free speech is an essential part of university culture. Many universities are committed to free expression, but the University of Chicago's decision 130 years ago to make free expression central to its mission was bold for the time. It wasn't a discovery, but a commitment that has made groundbreaking discoveries possible. Today, this founding mission remains intact, providing inspiration far beyond UChicago's campus. Welcome to The Day Tomorrow Began, the genesis of world-changing ideas from the University of Chicago. In 1890, the University of Chicago was founded on the belief that an empowering education must be rooted in the principles of free expression. Without this kind of academic freedom, scholars' ideas and discoveries might never come to light, and students would be deprived of the opportunity to debate people and ideas they disagree with. The university's first president, William Rainey Harper, said the principle of free speech was fundamental to you, Chicago, and could neither now nor at any future time be called in question. Each generation at UChicago has faced tests to this commitment. From being accused of fostering communism in the 1930s and 40s, to protecting the expression of all individual viewpoints during the Vietnam years, the university has steadfastly defended the rights of its students, faculty, and community members to express their opinions, no matter how unpopular. It also has emphasized that sustaining a culture of free expression requires welcoming diverse perspectives and backgrounds. In response to a number of campuses disinviting speakers for their unpopular views, U Chicago faculty members drafted the Chicago Principles, a document confirming that debate could not be shut down if some people found ideas to be offensive, unwise, immoral, or wrong-headed. It became a beacon for others to follow, with more than 100 colleges and universities now having adopted the Chicago Principles. Today, UChicago's commitment to free expression is as strong as it was at its founding in 1890. The newly launched University of Chicago Forum for Free Inquiry and Expression is a groundbreaking effort that aims to promote, protect, and advocate for the advancement of free expression and further establish UChicago as a global leader in safeguarding this vital academic priority. To learn more about this and other world-changing ideas, visit uchicago.edu slash the day tomorrow began.